I feel ten times smarter with a lab coat on. This is Alex Warren. He is a self-proclaimed social media personality and fashion designer known for his self-titled YouTube channel. He has over 8 million followers on TikTok, about a million on Instagram, and over a million subscribers on YouTube. He is a member of the Hype House and his content consists of mostly him and his friends. There's just one problem that people have with him. <laughs> it's so obvious! What's going on? People don't like how he's going about his content. They're having problems with it strongly resembling with what David Dobrik already does. Today we're going to take a look at this case and see if all of the criticism that this guy gets is completely valid. We're going to be looking at two categories here, the content and the personality. Let's begin. Right off the bat we can see that the videos on their pages are very similar. You can see it right away with the titles, the thumbnails, and even the length of the videos. David's videos are about 4 minutes and 20 seconds long, and Alex's videos are varied, but they hover around that 4 or 5 minute mark. Now let's dive into the videos themselves. David Dobrik has a very distinct format for his vlogs which could be cut up into these parts right here. We got the cold open, the intro screen, the clips of content, the outro screen, and the final clip at the end. I will note that David also used to do this thing right before the outro screen where he would do the call to action. You know, where a YouTuber would say thanks for watching the video and all that stuff. Seriously, all, thanks for watching Hannah. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tweet me at David Dobrik. Let's briefly go over the video elements just so we're on the same page here. We start off with the cold open. How are ya? This is where the clip is put at the beginning of the video right before the title sequence is shown. Which in this case, that title sequence is the intro screen. This gets followed by the clips of content. Jonah? Clip after clip with different situations going on in different settings. Then we go to the outro screen where he shows his socials, merch, and everything else that he's got going. And to end the video, we get an extra clip at the end. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nat, open your mouth. Open your mouth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, now let's go over to Alex's videos and see if we can complete this checklist that we got right here. We got the cold open. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you look hot. Do I? <laughs> I'm not even addicted to my phone. What do you mean? <laughs> My screen time's not 24 hours. <laughs> Check. Intro screen. Yeah. <laughs> Check. Clips of content. <laughs> oh my god! You know what sounds fun? Ping pong! Thanks, Yomi Soda! Fuck! <laughs> One spit! Jesus Christ! Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Gee, god damn it, Calvin! <laughs> no, my car! Look at all this shit! <laughs> Fuck! Check. Remember when I said when David used to do his call to actions? Well, here's Alex doing them currently. Alright, guys, that's today's video. If you enjoyed it, go and like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Merch will be linked down below. So, it's my second channel as well as my Instagram. Now, let's go to the outro screen. But oh, they won't say the worst things to your face. And it hurts like hell. But we hide it so well. Check. The final clip at the end. <laughs> Check. In a lot of Alex's videos, you start to notice many similarities to David's vlogs, such as couch moments. What are the odds? If I get the same number as you guys, then you have to kiss. And if I don't, you get $5,000. Car moments. We wanted to answer some questions that we get a lot. Are we having kids? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he explains situations to the camera before he shows what happens. Me and Patty go way back. He was one of the first people in my vlogs. I want to do something nice because I always make fun of him for having a really shitty phone. So I bought him a brand new iPhone 11. Moving on over to the TikTok content. There aren't really any similarities between the two besides the laughing. Trees don't move! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But we'll get into that when we talk about the personalities. The same thing can be said about their Instagrams. They're not exactly the same, but you do get David Dobrik vibes from some of Alex's pictures. Now that we looked at the content, let's go over to the personalities. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to prepare yourselves for this one. Look at these three pictures right here. Can you guess who these guys are? Well, if you guessed Alex for all three of them, you're right. Each photo is from a different year, 2018, 2019, and 2020. I don't know what else to say about this, I just wanted to point it out because it was kind of bizarre to me. Let's talk about David for a little bit. One of the most distinct features that David has is his laugh. <laughs> you can even categorize them. You got one, the laugh itself. All members of the vlog squad. <laughs> Two, the breathing laugh. Welcome back to YouTube, Jonah. <laughs> 
Three, the laugh where he throws his head back. You wouldn't oh leave him alone for five minutes so you could fucking write it. <laughs> and four, the laugh he does while talking. SeatGeek is an amazing app that helps you buy tickets in literally the easiest way possible. You've seen them help me surprise my friends with brand new cars. So today, SeatGeek is going to help me surprise some very deserving people. Now, you would think that you would only hear this specific set of laughter from David, right? I mean, it's pretty distinguishable from how anybody else laughs. Some of these have even been established on David's vlogs. I love when you do, like, the Muppet dive. <laughs> <laughs> David's joke doesn't work. He's like, turns up the fucking Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Do you have an impression of me? Uh, the last thing you say in his sentences really is like a laugh. So what's up guys, David here. Um, this is sponsored by CK. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Alex, show us how you laugh. Oh god. Oh my god! You bitch! Oh my god! So I'm a little sick, so bear with me here. So guys, I partnered with Cash Up today to give my sister $10,000 to pay for her college. Maybe Alex has been like this for years, probably even before David started on YouTube. No, wait, Alex started in 2018 and David started in 2015. Are there any earlier videos of Alex? Oh yeah, here's one from Facebook in 2017. Alright, I'm over it. Yeah, I think I got my clickbait. Oh, my booty hole. Here, go ahead, go ahead and look at my camera. Sick, I got my clickbait for the day. So for those who do not know who Tyler Schaffen is, Tyler's the kid that I just filmed scootering, and I just heard that he got second in Nitro Circus games, and he landed the first ever triple front flip. So this YouTuber named Slater Brown, he makes videos, um, mostly fidget spinners and like killer clowns, but I watched his video on, um, on this fidget spinner trick, and I mean, they look pretty cool, so I'm gonna go over to my friend Ryan's house, and he's gonna lend me his fidget spinner, and we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, so this is very different from what we're seeing nowadays. Everything was more chill in his videos back then compared to now where everything's fast paced. <laughs> he won't take off the hazmat suit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh my god! He recorded videos different, he acted different, he looked different, and now he's basically known as the copy of David Dobrik to which he had actually responded to with a video on his channel. An interesting note on this is that this video is actually privated now. I don't see why he would private the video, especially when it starts off like this. And one of the most popular comments that I've been seeing from uh, haters is that I'm trying to copy David Dobrik. So I've commented on this a lot in live streams, my YouTube community posts and uh, comments. And I feel like I need to make a video now just so you guys can, when you see those comments, tell them to go watch this video so that they can get an understanding of why I make the videos the way I do. And it'd be ignorant to say that my videos are not inspired by David Dobrik, because they are but they're also inspired by a lot of the other YouTubers I watch. Okay, so he says that David is one of his inspirations. So surely this would mean that he is also one of his top YouTubers. At least top five, right? I'm sitting here with Alex, actually I'm standing here with Alex, yeah. and we're gonna do Tom's top five. Today we're gonna do top five YouTubers. Yes, number five, um, I got Shane Dawson. I like his docu series. It's kinda low for Shane. Really? I think he should be higher, but it's your I list. like a lot of YouTubers. Okay. And then number four, I've got Yes Theory. They subscribed to me the other day, so now they're my favorite. Number three, I'd have to say, is Will Smith. Number two is probably going to be Dude Perfect. Actually, no, Mr. Beast. Sorry, Dude Perfect. I love you, but Mr. Beast is out there. And number one is Philip DeFranco. Done. Only place to get news from. It's a good list. Good list? The dude said Will Smith. Yeah! And then David. Where is he? Why wouldn't he be in your top five? It's a good list. Anyways. Going back to him responding to the criticism, here's what he has said recently about it in a Drew Dirksen video. What do you say when people like genuinely compare you to him? Like what's your response to them? Like, I don't know how to react. Because I never know if they're actually like f***ing with me and trying to be like a dick. Cause mm -hmm. like a lot of people do not like me. Or if they're just actually like, hey, your videos are good. They're like, Dave. Look, after everything that's been said, I will say that I do enjoy Alex's videos. And now even more so with him being in the hype house. It has that extra layer of interest. You get to see the dynamic of the group in that setting. But either way, Alex, people are going to keep calling you out. And it's just going to keep getting worse the bigger you get. I do respect some of that trolling you do, though, in some of your videos. So this is what it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, I'm Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's crazy, dude. Wait. Friends with fellow web star David Dobrik. Have you wow. even met David Dobrik? I've never met David. I don't know why would they, why would they do that. I have no idea. <laughs> Prank Daisy, they said. It'd be funny, they said. Natalie! F fuck, wrong YouTuber. <laughs>
Also, David has actually been in one of Alex's vlogs. So this was Pepper's reaction when he saw David Dobrik. Hey! I don't know if they talk with each other because that was the only thing shown in that vlog, but if they did meet each other, it probably went something like this. That man's an imposter! That man is the imposter! Nah, but seriously, Alex, just do your own thing. You know, they say, do whatever makes you happy as long as it's not hurting anybody, but when it's hurting your integrity and reputation, I think that's something that you gotta look at especially in the social media space. I think that people have more of a problem with your mannerisms matching David's than they do with the way you make your videos, but both of them are still significant problems for many people. Look dude, I know you're not a bad person, but I think that the views and everything else has gone to you to the point where you're now a different person. But hey, that's just what I think. What is going on? What are you doing? You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, do whatever it is that you do to show that you enjoyed it. I'm gonna end it here with some advice from both David and Alex, and I'll see you later. I need all the help I can get. No, David I, I mean, Dobrik. literally just do whatever you do. I, the worst thing is when people try to copy or replicate a YouTuber. Mm. It's not going to fucking work. Yeah. Like there already is a Casey Neistat. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? There already is an Emma Chamberlain. Like you can't, don't replicate that. Like maybe take something from it and be like, oh, this works. So I'll take this, but definitely make it your own style. It doesn't matter. Like if you're filming yourself with a toaster, like if it's something new <laughs> and you seem like you're enjoying yourself, then other people will enjoy themselves watching you. Whether you have 50,000 followers, if you have two followers, if you have a million followers, it's like this, this all applies to everyone. Is if you're trying to do good with your job, and if you're trying to do what I do, and you're trying to be the best you can at it, be yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself. People will love you for you, not for someone you're trying to be, not because you're trying to jump on a trend that may not be like the coolest thing, or like you're trying to just do stuff for views. It's like, it's like, don't be an asshole, be yourself.